Hello YouTube, Eugene here with a review on the Juken Sentai Geki Ranger Juken Kojin DX Sidio. Yes, friends. And uh, as you can see, a uh, little difference in the reviews here, because uh, due to the size of the box of this guy, I had no choice but to do it this way. But uh, anyway, let's let's take a look at the box here. As you can see, it's got Juken Sentai Geki Ranger and uh, Saidayo's face and a nice uh, shot of uh, Saidayo right here and we got Saidayin right here and the soju toe and he says Juken Kojin DX Saidayo um, on the top of the box got just uh, Saidayin right here and Saidayo's face on the bottom of the box just more awesomeness and on the side of the box it shows you uh, Mainly that Sadayo can go forward with the Soju Toe, and uh, uh, same thing when he is Sadayo. On the other side of the box, we have a nice shot of mainly when they're doing the uh, um, the uh, combine with Geki Toja and Geki Fire to become Sadai Geki uh, Toja and Sadai Geki Fire. And on the back of the box here, not much. Just another nice, awesome picture of uh, Sadai. And uh, before I begin, this is Geki Chopper's mecha. And he is the third and final robot in the Geki Ranger series. Now, the pronunciation of Sai in Japanese can be mentioned Rhinoceros and Sadain, the god of Geki Juken, to transform into Geki Juken Kojin Sadayo. So, um, anyway, he is a nice mecha, and uh, as you can tell, there was a reason why the box was so huge. Look at this guy. But uh, anyway, well, let's go ahead and take a look at him here. Um, clearly, I'm going to start off by saying he does take two C batteries, and um, I'm going to flip him over to show you where the batteries are. But yeah, he does have a moving, a moving gimmick here. So there's the batteries. And uh, he does roll back and forth. Um, but there's the back of the legs here. And uh, there is a switch back here when you can put it on D and F, making it go forward or down. Uh, here is the little uh, um, lever to um, make uh, Sadine stand as Sadayo. And um, above Sadai, uh, it's the switch to turning him on. And this is a little crystal here, and of course I'll show you the Soju Toe. Yes, the Soju Toe, uh, you get your own Soju Toe. And there's the Rhino Shield. And uh, of course, his mouth does open up. So, so yeah, he is a big boy, I got to say. Um, and of course, um, I'm going to show this again. But uh, this is where uh, Geki Wolf goes, and you know Geki Fire and Geki Toja go right here. So, and of course, uh, these are little connectors for Geki Penguin, Geki Jaguar, Geki uh, Cheetah, and uh, Geki Gazelle. So, and uh, mainly, uh, I mean, it, it's nice, but it, man, huge. But Sandai is gray, blue, uh, gold, and we see a little black. So, you know, he's all around uh, nice. Um, you know, the uh, rhino legs do move. You're going to give me trouble through this whole review. But anyway. And of course, I'll show you the other side. This is where uh, um, uh, Cheetah and... Uh, penguin or go at so but I will show you uh, you know the gun die later of Geki Toja and uh, Geki does come with a soju toe and uh, here it is this is what controls Sidine and Sidayo uh, pretty much a, a typical rhino blade as you can see it's got a rhino head right here very nice and painted and all um, and then right here, this is where you can control him at. Let's turn him into a sword. Now, one thing about this here, there's a little microchip in here that can uh, that can turn side dial on and off whenever you do it over here. But uh, let me go ahead and turn him on for a second, and just to show you what he looks like when he's uh, moving. 
And uh, anyway, real quickly before I do this demo, uh, as you can see, nicely painted in blue, gold, red, and uh, gray. So uh, here we go. And that's all you got to do. You got to hit it on and then hit it off. So um, anyway, I'm going to do it again with uh, the uh, thing not moving at all. But listen. So that's pretty much how you do it with uh, Sidine when it comes to him moving. Which is a nice little gimmick. Um, unless you have the room and the space to let him roam around everywhere. But uh, anyway, but uh, that's how you control him with the, uh, with the Sojuto. And I think that's really, really neat of what they've done for uh, Sidai so far. Real quickly, so, let me show you something here that, you know, if you put, um, okay, if you remember I, I said something that this has a P and a D. I don't know if you can see it with my light. But anyway, uh, there's a D right here and there's an F right here. So a D standing for uh, down and the F standing for forward. Well, here's for forward and then here's for cut the brakes on. So, anyway, well I honestly hope you all are ready to see the transformation of Sadayo. And, uh, oh, uh, real quickly, I'm going to do this real quickly now. Now these are spring-loaded. As you can see, they are spring-loaded. They're just connectors to the back of Sadayo's back. So, um, anyway, but more to come in the next part. So, uh, let me go ahead and get... And go. Um, I'm going to go ahead and recommend this. Uh, just so you won't hit no one. But I definitely do recommend you take this big horn off. Uh, just because, you know, it does become a, a hassle. But uh, anyway, if I forgot to show the uh, front part of Sidio, I'm sorry. I mean Sidine, excuse me. Alright, let's go ahead and do this. Well, in the last part, I went ahead and took off the rhino legs. We hear the rhino legs. And uh, mainly you are required to connect him, connect them back right here where you see the connectors pretty much where you put the shield at <clears throat> so we put one right here and you put the other one on the other side now you could uh, go ahead and uh, stand uh, sidine up with the rhino legs already right here but that would be kinda crazy you know but anyway remember I talked about this little lever here we'll pull this lever out and this will help him to stand. So we're going to go ahead and stand Sidine up to become Sidio. And so next you want to go ahead and push this lever in because it locks it in. So you won't have to worry about it uh, closing on you like that. And so let me inch up my camera now. And I kind of had a feeling he wasn't going to fit my camera angle. But what can you do? All right, next, we're going to go ahead and put his arms down. As you see, uh, the rhino head is the arm of Sidio. And then put the other one down and pop this out. And there's a little hand for it. So, we aren't really finished, friends, because we have two more other things. Well, first off, we'll go ahead and put the uh, rhino horn back on. And then two... I'm going to put the shield on. Okay. Now, um, now this is not his actual face right here. Uh, this is just a, a battle shield looking uh, face. So basically, if you want to see his original face, you push this here. Ta-da! And there you go. There's the original Sadayo face. Pretty nice, huh? Um, but uh, friends, here he is, Sadayo. Uh, of course, this is Geki Chopper's Mecha. Made his debut in episode 34 of Geki Ranger. And uh, like I said earlier, he is the 
final mecha that we see. Within his shield in his hand, you know, uh, like his battle attack. And then I'm going to show you uh, him walking. And so, uh, pretty much, I don't know if you can see it here now. And uh, let me bring my light to where you can see it. But the little uh, switch here, uh, the switch is right here in the middle of Sidio's uh, uh, legs here. But uh, as you can see, now that we are, um, now that we're Sidio now, uh, he looks absolutely amazing. I mean, you see blue here, blue, blue, red. I mean, absolutely nice. I mean, he he looks like a knight if you think if that's a better way to describe it. But he, he looks all around nice. Now, um, you definitely can do articulation in the arms. Uh, of course, that's what will happen also. Um, but um, anyway, yeah, he does have articulation in the legs and so on. But um, I wouldn't recommend you move, you move his arm around a lot, especially with this horn here. But uh, anyway, real quickly... Um, like I showed you before, he does have a handle on his uh, shield here. And, uh, of course, there is some articulation in the hand here. But, uh, you can have him hold it like this. And, uh, you can have, uh, his face close up like that. Uh, like a battle protection or whatever. I mean, there are many ways you can ho have Sidio hold the shield. Yeah, there we go. So pretty much like that. That's his battle face. I guess it's pretty much uh, better to describe it. But, uh, anyway. So, I think you guys are ready to see him walk, huh? Well, let's go ahead and do this, huh? So, uh, open his uh, face up again. I'm going to make some room here. Here we go. Now, sorry if I had to move it now. Now, uh, let's see, is this on? No, it's not on. So we're gonna go ahead and see him uh, walk forward uh, this way and then come towards the camera a little bit. So here we go. Here we go. And that's how you stop him. Um, and we'll do an, we'll do a different direction to where I can stop him. So here we go, and there you go. Um, try to see if I can get him like coming close to the camera a little bit. And there you go. Side around just to give you guys a glimpse of what he looks like in the back, and uh, more lighting here. But there's a switch, and there's uh, this is what you're uh, you're using with the soju toe here, and you know, uh, pretty much um, he's just a mecha with wheels here, and I'll just show the bottom part now. Now that he's transformed into uh, Sidio, so. But um, I hope I showed you everything about on this guy, and if I didn't, I apologize. Um, so. prepared already, but it was down earlier and, you know, connected on. But th this is what the shield's supposed to look like. So, we're going to go ahead and begin. Uh, first off, here is Geki Wolf. Um, as you can recall, um, um, I showed you guys where his platform is. Well, his platform is right here where you put him at, above Sidion's head. <clears throat> Next, we're going to go ahead and get uh, Geki Fire, or, you know, Geki Gorilla, <clears throat> and uh, put him right here. He just snaps right on in. So now, um, let's go ahead and turn him around. And there's a front shot there. And uh, we're going to go ahead and put Miss Penguin in her spot. I'm going to inch on down there. So here is Pink, um, Geki Penguin, and here's her connector. So we'll go ahead and connect it into the board here, and it clicks here. And 
put it in uh, side dine until you hear a click. All right. So now we'll go ahead and turn uh, this big boy around and do the last part, which will uh, put Geki Gazelle right here. And uh, if you recall, in the um, Geki Fire review, um, you went ahead and put uh, Geki Penguin surfboard into his butt here. So we're going to go ahead and put this connector into his butt until you hear a click, which I just heard. And uh, we're going to just go ahead and slide it in until we hear a click. So anyway, um, let me see if I can back him up and back up my camera to give you guys a full shot of this, part, this guy here. But friends, this is Sadai Geki Fire. Like I said, made his debut in episode um, 35. And so, which was the start of this? I told you. And so, as you can see, I removed the other three out of the picture and left our boy Geki Wolf right here and left the shield where it belongs. So, now, here is Geki Tiger. And uh, Geki Tiger goes a couple inches away from Geki Gorilla. So, I'm going to put him right here. And there you go. As you can see right here, this is where Geki Fire goes at. And, of course, you know, Geki Toja goes right here. So, let's go ahead and get Cheetah. I mean, a Jaguar. And so, you know, mainly like a uh, gazelle. You plug this into his butt right here. And so you want to go ahead and slide it over here till you hear a click. Turn the other side and we'll put Miss Cheetah in the same place where you put Miss uh, Geki Penguin at. So um, let's go ahead and connect it here. And you want to have it facing down. And you hear a click. And so we're just going to slide it on in. And there we go. So friends, I present to you Geki, Sadai Geki Toja. Yes. Uh, this um, first appeared in episode 42. And uh, so anyway, nice, uh, nice of a mecha here. One thing I thought Geki Ranger was going to do was combine all the mecha with Sadayo. But as you can see what they did, they did Geki Fire and Geki Toja and Geki Ren Toja so two to be added on this big guy here. And uh, so here is Ren Line once again. And I'm going to go ahead and focus up a little bit just so to show you guys uh, what I'm going to do. So break off the lion head and put the lion head here on the chest just similar to what you did before. Break off the lion tail here and break off the body. So we're going to go ahead and uh, put the uh, lion uh, legs onto the shoulders of Geki Toja. Same thing here. And put it over here. And here is the sword. So, you know, like I said in uh, the Ren Line Ring Chameleon review, uh, you really don't um, have, well, he really can't hold it, uh, Geki told you, so it's going to be on that little peg. And finally, just like uh, uh, with Ren Line Ring Chameleon review, you do the same thing here. And so, friends, here is uh, Sadai uh, Geki Ren Toja. Um, and uh, this um, appeared in episode 47 when they were doing their uh, kind of like a final, it wasn't really a final battle, but it was something like that uh, with uh, Long. But uh, anyway, i uh, give you a different angle here. Whoop, don't fall, Geki Wolf. There we go. And uh, turn it this way. 
But like I said, I'm going to go ahead and uh, let you guys see some footage of, you know, uh, Sidine walking with, you know, Geki uh, Toja, Geki Fire, and Geki Rin Toja on, their, on his back. So, anyway, uh, Geki uh, Toja Wolf and Geki Fire. So, anyway, uh, and mainly you're talking about the three Geki Rangers in here. Geki Viola in that one and Geki Chopper. Now, the one issue I have with Saidayo is he is just too doggone big. Yeah, I, I said it. He's just too doggone big. I like him. Don't get me wrong because I do like the colors on him. But he's just too big. And, uh, well, I mean, if you, t if you notice from the beginning of this review how big the box was compared to what he looks like in person. But, uh, Anyway, uh, do I recommend him? Yes, but let me warn you guys, shipping and handling will be a killer on this mecha. Um, I lucked out with Miss Rider Proxy on this, but shipping and handling was more than the item itself. Yeah, so, um, but like I said, expect to pay a little more than uh, what you expect with this mecha here. So, um, Anyway, well, I think that's everything. I hope you all enjoyed all my Geki Mecha reviews. Uh, it was an honor reviewing them all. And uh, um, please check out my blog, isyogene421a1sblog.blogspot.com for all your info on the channel, future reviews, future vlogs, you name it. Um, please subscribe. And uh, this is the review on the Juken Sentai Geki Ranger Juken Kojin DX Saidayo. I hope you enjoy. And uh, I'll see you next time. And thanks for watching. And uh, I'm Eugene. I'm signing out. And y'all have a great day. Bye, friends.